We're here with UT Dallas after the uh, morning game of the uh, Saturday at the NCAA Division III Spokane Regional. Guys, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, please. Josh Covey. Ruben Renteria. And Shane Shoemake. Shane, tell us a little bit about the game from your perspective. <laughs> well, it was a very good ball game. Uh, it was well pitched. Uh, Ruben, I mean, got us into the ninth inning, did exactly what we needed to do uh, to give us a chance to win. Um, you know, we had some great defensive plays to keep us in the ball game. Threw out some runners at the plate, and uh, it was just one of those games back and forth. It could have gone either way, and unfortunately for us, uh, it, it, the ball bounced the wrong way in this one. Did you uh, kind of get a deja vu feeling it, from that earlier game when Ruben and uh, uh, you guys went against him? I think I saw a total of two hits, two five innings in that first game in the regular season. Um, did you kind of get that feeling early on that here we go again? Well, yeah, it was more like yesterday's game. Uh, it felt more like yesterday's game uh, as far as, um, you know, just kind of back and forth and who's going to take advantage mm -hmm. of their opportunities, and uh, they did today. Uh, well, late. You guys had some, some chances in that uh, top of the first. I think the leadoff batter gets on, first and third. Uh, I also had in the seventh and the eighth, it was just a, a couple of missed opportunities there. Uh, do you recall anything about any, any of those? Or? Uh, well, I mean, it's just you get opportunities, and sometimes you got to tip your cap to their pitcher. He made some good pitches yeah. when he had to, and, you know, that's baseball. Yeah, but then again, as you've already mentioned, those throws out at the plate were just, <laughs> uh, they, were, they were spot on, great, great catching, great throws, good relay throws. It just kind of ended up, unfortunately for you guys, being the third time was a charm. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, guys, how do you feel about today's game? How do you, how do you think it went for you? Uh, I mean, we knew that it was, it was going to be a tough game. Uh, we knew that we played these guys early on in the season, and we knew they, they had some they had a good lineup, they had good pitching staff, so we knew it was going to be a ball. So, I mean, that's just like, like Coach said, it's just, that's just how baseball goes. It could have gone either way. Yeah. Well, I think you had a um, couple of walks there and uh, the one hit and the run, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that was a good, a good, uh, good day at the plate for you. Try, you know, especially the walks. You know, try, 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 try to do what a leadoff does. You know, just get on base, trying to give my team a, a chance to win and get us, get us some runs on the board. So, and against mm -hmm. a good team like this, you know, that's what you need. So, all right, and, and it, right from the start, it, it seemed like run, a run was going to be a premium. Sure. You know, especially with the way you were. You fit, did you feel good on the mound today? Yes, I did. Thank God. Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, what do you think was working? I think I kind of asked that of every pitcher, but <sighs> were, you, were you keeping them off balance, or were you just luckily the fastball was was being located well, mm -hmm. and uh, I was able to follow my secondary stuff, and they were swinging. They're they're anxious. They're tough hitters. Very yeah. tough hitters, and you can't make every mistakes with them because mm -hmm. they'll hit you well. I mean, obviously they still give up some hits, and a lot of them were hit well. So, but as, it's a good team, and it's expected. You know that as a pitcher, you're going to go out there and. You gotta try to keep them zero zero. This guy's on third and second. And, uh, there's that situation, and I I could I was not gonna let them score. It's it just battle. And on yeah. the other side, their pitcher was really good too. Yeah. So. Well, there was battles throughout the hole. I mean, I, I remember they did get that one base runner, and uh, I think it was an 11 pitch at bat. The guy fouled off five consecutive pitches on a three two count. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and and uh, I think it was a walk, but every. It seemed like there were so many of those throughout the game, maybe not 11 pitch ones, but it seemed like there was a battle between you and that, that guy in the box for a lot of the game. And then likewise, between Josh and the rest of your, the, the guys on the plate and their pitcher. Absolutely. I think the team did well. We did what we had to do. We played, it was a good game. It was, I bet it was fun to watch. And, yeah. and there's not much, much more you could ask for. It's yeah. just the small things, really. I think there was a lot of judgment from our our side of the fence, so to speak, where it was maybe one of the most exciting and best games of the uh, of the series so far here. So, well, and the other thing is, is this is not the end. I mean, you guys get to come back. You're going to play the night game tonight against Chapman. Is there, Coach, is there any history between y'all and Chapman, or you think this will be kind of, uh, or, or to your recollection, is this going to be kind of a new new team for you? Well, we actually played them uh, the first weekend of the season. We went out to Arizona, and they met, kind of met in the middle. Uh, they've got a good ball club, mm -hmm. uh, so, but it, I, obviously, you know, from three months ago to today, we're both different teams, so yeah. it should be a battle. Coach, um, after a game like that, you had a chance to talk to your squad out in the outfield. What do you tell a team? After that kind of loss, when you know you got to come back in a few hours to play again, yeah, you just got to tell them you got to have a short memory. I mean, uh, they battled, they played well. It just didn't work out, and you know we've still got a lot of baseball ahead of us if we'll come out and play the game we're capable of playing. 
Ruben, you got two great plays to play by your outfielders. Talk about how confident you can be on the mound when you know you have an outfielder that now has four outfield assists in two games. It's, uh, oh, you take deep breaths, your ERA starts shrinking more, thank God. And, but really, I know my outfield's really good. Any, any line drive to center field, anything like that, you see the batter kind of, his eyes light up, and I'm like, no, you're out, man. It's, it's, Josh is there, no problem. And uh, I appreciate that. My team plays real well for me, and it helps you, obviously. Gives you that strength to keep going, keep going. Josh, what was the Malinowski showing you today? Your lineup had a hard time with him early on, but then finally got to the third time through to get some base runners and three innings in a row had leadoff uh, base runners. Talk about what you, how you guys adjusted as a team to what he was bringing through nine innings. Yeah, he was. I mean, we knew he, he was a great pitcher. I mean, we, we knew that coming in, and we knew that he was going to mix stuff up. Uh, he has he has great off speed. He has a commanding fastball, so uh, he was he was hitting his spots. Um, you know, you know, a few times we, we were in situations where we, we could have scored some runs. Um, luckily, or unfortunately, I should say, <laughs> uh, they, they didn't go our way. Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he kept us off balance, us, us hitters, and uh, you got you got to take your gap to a guy like that. I'm good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.